boys and girls, how are you on this really hot summer day? Well, it's almost July, so it's time to learn our July verse. I hope you've been working on your verses over the summer and learning them because God tells us if we hide God's word in our heart that he will bless us. So today, before we learn our verse, we're going to talk a little bit about opposites. Do you know what opposites are? If I said this little boy is very happy. Look at him. Doesn't he look happy? What would be the opposite of being very happy? That's right. Sad. Happy and sad are opposites. Let's try another one. You guys are so smart. Now, we have a little boy in our picture that is holding something that is very small. Can you see the apple he's holding? It's very, very small, small. What would be the opposite of something very small? You are really smart. Something very, can you read that word? Big, small, big. Those are opposites, small, big. Let's do another one. You guys are really smart. This little boy is standing so we can see his front. The front. What is the opposite of front? Oh, this is a hard one. You've got to think. Front. What if I turn him around? What am I going to see? Back. Good job. Front. This way. Back is if he turns around and we can see his back. We can't see his face. We're seeing the back. Front, back. Let's do one more before we start our verse. Oh, you boys will be really good at this one. Because I know boys like to play outside in the dirt and the mud. This little boy is clean. Clean. Look, he just took a bath. He has his towel and he's all shiny and clean. Don't let me down. You can do this. What's the opposite of clean? Oh, you shouted it. Clean. Dirty. Clean. Dirty. Now, the reason we're doing opposites today is because our verse that we're learning for July kind of has an opposite in it. The verse is the hope of the righteous. You see I have that word in red? The righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Proverbs 10, 28. Righteous. Righteous is kind of like when we are clean. Do you see how clean that water is? Oh, it looks so good to taste. Well, if righteous is being clean, what do you think wicked is? That's right. It's like being dirty. You know how when mommy might ask you to do something like, you need to be very quiet, the baby's sleeping. And you make noise anyway. That's called sin. That's called disobeying. If mommy asks you not to pull the kitty cat's tail, and when mommy's not looking, pull the kitty cat's tail. That's sin. That's wickedness. Now, the Bible says when we are born, I put a little bit of, we aren't clean. The Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So we are, a, we are a little bit dirty. We don't have, we're not clean before God. We need to be saved. We need to ask Jesus to save us, tell him how sorry we are that we're sinners. And we are so glad that he came to earth and lived a perfect life and never sinned and died on the cross. And when we ask Jesus to save us, he fills us with his spirit and he makes us 
clean. Do you see the water is clean again? That's what Jesus does. He makes us righteous. Now, that doesn't mean we don't do bad things anymore. It just means that Jesus paid for all those sins and he has made us righteous. Righteous. We can stand before God righteous. We can have gladness because we are righteous before God. We have asked Jesus to save us and his spirit lives in us. And when God looks at us now, even though we're still sinners, he sees the righteousness of Jesus. But if we don't ask Jesus to save us and all that sin is still in there, we are wicked, wicked, wicked. And the Bible says the wicked, the wicked shall perish. They won't be able to live in heaven with God forever and ever. So we have two opposites. Let's do righteous. Take your take your right hand. I'm going to turn I'm going to turn George around here. This is your right side, okay? Your right hand. Take your right hand and your your pointy finger and the one next to your pointy finger and cross them. Can you do that? It's a little bit hard. You might have to use your other hand to help you. Now make this hand flat like, like a plate and run it right across. Righteous. Righteous. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness. But the expectation of the wicked, take your right hand again, up against your mouth, and throw it away. Throw it away. Wicked, wicked shall perish. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to sing it. It's in the book of, can you read that word? Proverbs. Proverbs 10, verse 28. Good job. Okay, here we go. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Proverbs 10, verse 28. I'll do it one more time for you. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Proverbs 10, verse 28. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Proverbs 10, verse 28. Okay, can you do it with me? Okay, try the signs. Two fingers. Righteous. 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 Clean. Righteous before God. Righteous. Wicked, wicked, dirty, wicked, bad, wicked, sin. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Proverbs 10 verse 28. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Proverbs 10, verse 28. I don't hear you. I know it's, it's a long verse. And it's got those two opposites. And it's got righteous. And it's got wicked. But you can do it. I know you can. I'm watching this time, okay? I want to see those signs, okay? Ready? The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, 
but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Proverbs 10 verse 28. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. Proverbs 10 verse 28. Good job. Now I want you to work on it. It's a long verse. So if you have to, play, the play our song again so you can hear it and learn it really well. Righteous, wicked. And remember, when we ask Jesus to save us, he fills us with his spirit and we are righteous before God. Nothing we could do. It's all Jesus. He died to save us and he died to make us righteous. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Learn your verse.